Hi, welcome to uh, another video of the Target Individual Program and Target Individual Experience. So I came home this morning. It's uh, Wednesday, December 2nd. Um, I went by Pam last night to uh, try and get the kids to go to bed early. Uh, I stayed, um, put them to bed by 9.30. Uh, when I'm not there, uh, they usually go to bed around after 10 even sometimes after 11. And so my son was um, sleeping in class yesterday because he was tired from staying up late uh, the previous night. And so I told her, I said, okay, um, so you have to leave for work early. Uh, so let me come over. I'll put the kids to bed early. I'll make dinner. And that way they can go to bed early. That way you can get a uh, good night's sleep. So, I did that. Woke up this morning. Um, you know, was, was uh, made them breakfast, and uh, when I got my breakfast, um, got back up, went into the kitchen, and she's in the kitchen naked, again staring up at staring out the window. And I'm like, okay, yeah, we'll be microwave at this point right now because normally she's. Um, you know, won't even get. You know, what I'm saying <laughs> she wouldn't even walk around the house with her underwear that she, like that she used like she used to do, right? But because we're not together and some such, so the fact that she, um, you know, the fact that she got out the shower, and went into the kitchen, stand up in the middle of the kitchen, naked, staring out the window. I was like, okay, yeah, we're being we're being microwave. Uh, oh, before I forget, last night when we got when we got to her house. Uh, I went upstairs, um, again, they had the, the, the fire trucks, the police sirens going off and all this stuff, right? And again, which is nothing new, it's the same type of subliminal message, uh, that they always trying to send, right? And so, um, but anyway, for this morning, so I came home and I came home, got, you know, opened my bedroom door and my niece's daughter is in my bed. And I'm like, what are you doing in my bed? And she's like, uh, uh, Aunt, Aunt Sharon said, I, I said, I was like, no, no, no. I said, I do not want anybody sleeping in my bed because of this COVID situation. Because she, my niece's daughter, uh, she wasn't here yesterday because she was, she was with her father. And, you know, I don't know where they went, where he took her to. Because, again, these people are not taking this COVID stuff seriously. Okay. So I called my um, other sister to say, you know, listen, I'm tired of this stuff. I keep speaking to Sharon and she keep letting people stay in, sleep in my bed, particularly when they're not changing my sheets and they're not washing my sheets. Okay. So she was like, well, she spoke to her. She's like, she doesn't care about COVID right now. I'm like, how do you not care about COVID? You have a, um, uh, what, uh, Jason's, uh, 16 month old you have a 16 month old in the house and you're letting people come in without any mask sometimes don't even go wash their hands they're picking them up they're kissing them in the face okay but somehow that's none of your your concern you know I guess she's relying on her faith in Jesus you know, I mean, that's the ridiculous shit about religious people, okay? That they don't get and understand that the book that they're reading is allegories. They're not based on any true historical events. But yet, they take these things literally as uh, these people existed. They did not exist, Okay? The only person in that Bible that they mention that exists is Ramses. <laughs> Ramses the first. That's it. All right. So, and even if you match up the so-called timeline, if you match up the so-called timeline with Moses and and Ramses, that even their biblical timeline don't match up. Okay, because Ramses was not the pharaoh at the supposed time of Moses. Okay, 
And we all know who Moses is, which is Akin Moses, right? Or Akinetan. So, you know, but you cannot talk sense into these people, into these religious believers. It was a, I was just telling Pam about a post of a woman who said that she doesn't care about the COVID and no one's going to talk, uh, tell her uh, that she can go to church and worship and all this stuff. And two days later, she put another post saying that her, her husband contracted COVID. And her husband has a pre-existing condition. All right. See, I have an ulcer. All right. And if I get COVID, who knows what's going to do? And what they don't understand is that when you get COVID, even if you get over it, COVID does damage it damage to your body. It puts holes in your organs, little tiny holes in your organs. You are never going to be the same. Okay. It affects your it it damages your brain. You you know neurologically it causes neurological damage in the brain. So, you know, for those out there, particularly those TIs out there who still believe COVID is a hoax and all this stuff, you keep believing that. And when you get COVID, okay, then I want you to come out, post a video saying that, you know what? I'm sorry for what I said. COVID is real. I contracted COVID and now this is what I got to deal with. I mean, come on. I'm a, look, I'm a TI. Okay, but I know I'm going to take precaution when it comes to certain things, regardless of what they do to me, regardless of what technology they 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 use, no matter how much they they've manipulated my mind. Okay, I had to do a lot of research, a lot of studying, a lot of understanding, in order to even be the way that I am now. Okay. And yet, I'm still battling these mind control technologies every single day. Right? Because they want to isolate me. And I think the reason for all of this today recently is because, again, now they want to cause an uh, argument between my sister and I. Because I've spoken to her about this many times. And she had stopped letting people sleep in, in my bed. But now she's starting back the same thing again. And again, it's because they want to cause an argument. Because, again, you know... They want to remove me from this apartment. All right. So this is what's happening. They will find multiple ways using different angles. They will come back with the same uh, tactics, the same rehash shit that they do over and over again. Yeah, for instance, like last night, uh, Pam woke up in the middle of the night. All of a sudden, she wanted to have a conversation. Then, because I went to bed at 10.30, she was already sleeping, right? She woke up um, after, uh, after one, all right, came back into bed. And again, yeah, we're sleeping in the same bed, but we're not sleeping together. We're not, you know, sexually active with one another because this is not the type that type of relationship. But I sometimes I sleep in the bed because of my back. All right, I sleep on the couch hurts my back, so I sleep in the bed. All right, so let's get that straight. Okay. So she was sleeping. She got up. She was on her phone. All right. And something was just you know was up here because even uh, sat Saturday night I was home. She I spoke to her. She kept me up on the phone. Well, I was trying to get off the phone with her, but she wouldn't let me get off the phone because she kept... Every time I said, listen, I got to go to bed, she tried it. And I'm just like, okay, what is going on here? And she said she did the same thing last night until she heard a car honk. And it wasn't just like a honk, honk, honk. It was like a honk. It was like a signal. Normally, they would do this with police sirens, right? But you know, for whatever reason, you know, they didn't. They used car honk. And then, all of a sudden now, she's ready to go to bed. You know? Like, I, uh, all of a sudden now, she's, like, ready to go to bed. I'm like, well, okay. You know, hey, whatever. But I'm I'm watching. I'm listening to these things. I'm seeing these things. All right? And so, again, they will rehash these things. All right? So, all of this today, what's happened today is to cause a rift. 
Because again, I take this COVID thing seriously. But they don't. Because they're believers and they're God and they're Jesus and they think they, they, they're protected by the blood of Jesus and all this nonsense and this idiotic shit that they say to each other. And it is idiotic. I'm sorry, but it is. It's stupid and idiotic. Okay? So, you know, we'll see what uh, this outcome is and what's going on. And I'll do another video later, uh, you know, just to keep updates of what is transpiring and what's taking place. But again, I understand the tactics. I know the tactics. And this is nothing new. You know, and again, I am under remote newer monitoring and we'll be microwave. Like I said, when Pam came in the kitchen, butt naked, staring out the window, you know, I mean, it, this, this shit is like, you know, people won't believe this shit, you know, and I was going to take a video, but I was like, nah, I can't do that, you know, I can't, I can't do that, but. Next time shit like that happen, <laughs> I'm going to videotape it so you guys can see. I'm gonna have to blur out a lot of stuff, but I'm gonna I'm gonna videotape this shit so you can you guys can see because it's gonna happen again. Trust me. Okay. All right. So that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.